You know what I'm really excited about? How I'm going to look in the Bake It Up a Notch lighting, because we're using Bake It Up a Notch lighting. <laughs> yes, the Bake It Up a Notch lighting is magic. It makes it, everybody look like they're like slightly flour dusted and... Um, oh oh my know. God, do you remember the Rice Krispie commercial where the mom would like make the Rice Krispie treats and it was so easy and she'd be like, she would splash water and flour and she'd be like, oh, here they are. But it took her like three minutes. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of those cookies. <laughs> You're so right. Hello and welcome to a special holiday edition of The Secret Sauce with Grossy Pelosi. As you can see, I'm in my pajamas because there's nothing I love more than making holiday cookies in my pajamas. And we have the queen of cookies and baking here with us today, Miss Erin McDowell. Welcome. Yay! Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to make this recipe because I'm also a little nervous because what? later when we do our our cookie exchange. Yeah. I'm, I'm just nervous for my cookies to stand up to yours because oh. this is one of my favorite cookies. <laughs> I love this cookie. Well, now I'm nervous. So you just pass that on to me. I you see what you did. I, did you see that? <laughs> she passed the nerves to me. No, Thank not you. at all. I'm so stoked. Well, Let's normally on The Secret Sauce, we make the family recipes of other people, the guests. But today you're honoring me and letting me show you how to make my family holiday cookie recipe, one of them. I love this because I also feel like I know your whole family, even though I've never met them. I love them. You do, and they love you. Well, I'm. it reminds me of my family, and that's the thing that's so great about mm -hmm. the holidays is that like, yeah. no matter though everyone's traditions are different totally. or whatever, there's also similarity and familiarity Absolutely. And, and baking is at the core of it all. Do you normally bake in your pajamas or are you just humoring me? Uh, oh, I definitely bake Absolutely. in my pajamas. I would say nine times out of 10, I am baking in my pajamas. And the 10th <laughs> time is when I'm filming Bake It Up <laughs> Exactly. Okay, so today we're making pignoli cookies. Do you know what pignoli are? Yes, I, I just love eating them. And they're like one of those cookies I can eat like by the hand. Absolutely. I love them for so many reasons. One, they are gluten-free by design. Love that. Which is amazing, which makes them more accessible. They have such a great shelf life. So you can make them and they'll last for like a good amount of time, probably th before. You'll eat them all before they go bad. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's what I, like what to I was gonna say, for sure, for and sure. And there are five ingredients. Amazing. So and easy. One of the ingredients is egg whites. And one of the reasons I like that is because one of my recipes uses only egg yolk. So I'm always oh. looking for ways to use up those other whites also, but like to make a bunch of different cookies for a cookie box is about That's the so perfect smart. way to do it. Let's switch places. I yeah, want yeah. you to be okay. by the mixer and this show me. This is a gorgeous mixer. Yeah. Okay, it's so. It's matte. Matte um, in it's texture. It's matte black. It's so pretty. Um, the first thing we're gonna add is our almond paste. Lovely. It's gorgeous. The best texture. It's really the key to the cookies. While they are, Pignoli cookies, the almond paste adds a ton of that flavor and really attributes the texture. The next we have confectioner's sugar, which we love, makes it a little sweet. Oh, and then we have more sugar. Oh, and so why do you, do you know why you use two different kinds, both granulated and powdered sugar? It's just like a textural thing for mm -hmm. me. Um, do you know why? Well, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you use a mixture because the confectioner's sugar also has that little bit of starch. Oh. So it helps to be more of a binder. Like I was wondering, the granulated sugar probably helps give it some of the chewiness, yes. but the powdered sugar helps make sure that the dough doesn't get too, too sticky. Too sticky, okay, great. That was That's my best guess, but that's well, more based you know, on I'm like- I'm like a home cook and you're like a professional baker. I'm just like science so, nerd yeah. is what. <laughs> so I should be calling you more often actually. I, oh my gosh, you've got my number. <laughs> and then we have egg whites, which we love. Those right. egg whites also, it's so interesting because that also makes this like a pretty, obviously has a lot of sugar, but this is a pretty accessible cookie, both in the number of ingredients, but also like the ease of finding them. Oh, absolutely. Right? I think the, the biggest challenge is, is pine nuts and hot tip from my mother, Costco. <gasps> Costco <gasps> is your spot for pine nuts. She calls me in August. <laughs> How many pine nuts do you need for the holidays? <laughs> and then I'm stocked. Um, okay, so we're tossing this down, paddle attachment. So you want this to come together until it's like a nice, well-mixed sticky batter. You don't want to over mix it. Okay. It comes together pretty quickly. Ooh, look at it. It's I already know. on its way. Totally. Now you said you could mix this by hand also. You could, absolutely. It's a little bit more elbow grease, but you know, not everyone has a sand mixer and I like to, have recipes where you don't need sand mixer. What do you think? It looks pretty good. I think it looks great. Great. 
Okay, so we're like almost done with the recipe. <laughs> yes! Well, and also, didn't you, don't you normally make an even bigger batch than oh, this? Oh yeah, this is a half batch. I mean, you know, Italians, like you don't make less than a million of anything. <laughs> I call Bimpy up, right? Bimpy's my grandfather, he's a hundred, and I'll be like, hey Bimp, like what are you doing? He's like, I just made a hundred meatballs. Like, you know, cause you, know. You, cause you freeze them, you give yes. them away. Why would you make less than a hundred of anything? <laughs> I think my oh, recipe Bimby. probably makes like five dozen. That's pretty much what most of my recipes But that's great make. at the holidays for, um, you know, being able yes. to gift them, being able to yes. always have something if somebody stops by. Yeah, you need to refresh the cookie tray. Every family member in my family has a tray on their kitchen table throughout the whole holiday season, and they just keep refreshing that magical, evolving cookie tray. I love it. And, you know, someone brings cookies, they go on the tray, you bake more, they go on the tray. Well, it's a dream. Not every yeah. baking recipe cuts in half so Absolutely. easily, but this, this one, one is so easy and This recipe, and... what can't she do? Love it. You know what I mean? So one more note about sort of the ease and accessibility of the recipe. If pine nuts aren't for you, um, almonds, pistachios, like you said. Pistachios would be cool because you'd have like a little green, green. cookie for That'd the holidays. Be great. So, while they won't be pignoli cookies, they can still be a delicious nut forward cookie. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> okay, great. So we've got our batter, and now we get to roll our balls. <laughs> yes, let's do it. <laughs> so basically, we have a little cookie scoop. You don't need a cookie scoop. You can use two spoons. You can also just grab with your hands. No cookie is upset if he's slightly larger than the others. Absolutely. <laughs> you just might need a little more time in the oven. Okay, so basically the key here, we're gonna roll this in pignoli, but the less uh, touch with your hands, the better, because then the pignolis will stick better. If the cookie gets too warm, they will not stick. I just drop this right in here and do the forming of the cookie with pignoli. Does that make sense? Yeah, totally. So I you don't need to pre-roll. The other thing I'm gonna say is you can do as many pignoli uh, nuts as you want to on the cookie. You can cover them as we are on all sides, but you can also just do a few on top and that is great too. No pressure is to go okay? two nuts. That looks so gorgeous. Two nuts. <laughs> Don't go two nuts. <laughs> or go Completely totally nuts. nuts. Yeah, yeah, either way. Exactly. <laughs> go. We're here for both of them. Yeah. Really just doing such a great job. Am I? I feel yeah. like I was waiting for you to compliment me, so I'm really glad it came because okay. I I wanted to make sure I was doing it I right. I was holding out a little, just so you know. You were making me earn it. I <laughs> yeah, appreciate exactly. that. Exactly. I know you don't get a lot of compliments. So. <laughs> right. No one watches your show. I laughed so hard at that. That sounds really bad. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about how long you've been making this recipe and where it came from. So, you know, I've been making it my whole life. Aww. I was brought into the kitchen. My mom says I was like in my little baby seat next to the KitchenAid, then I was on a stool, then I was on the floor. That was sort of how I grew up. And this is a, truly a family recipe. I think for me, what I love to do when I develop recipes for my own brand is call, I gotta say, my mom, my grandparents, my aunts, the Carolyns, the Marilyns, like, Everyone in the family, my local Maria. Like I just take everyone's, cause all the Italians have different versions of the recipe. And then I sort of take it all in and then I create kind of like the best version for me and then for my people. And piss like half of the Marilyns off in the way. Cause <laughs> yeah, you don't yeah. do, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, you know what's funny? This is such a simple one that there really wasn't much sort of like tweaking to do. Yeah, yeah. If you go to some like the Anjanette cookies or like, you're like, okay, are you doing, um, anise, are you doing vanilla, are you doing lemon? Totally. Like that's a whole other can of worms, but this one's pretty straightforward. So, and this really like, my mom comes and we'll make this cookie together. She just has the magic touch, you know? You and I have that in common too, that my family is definitely my inspiration for so much of what yeah. I do. So it's so cool to get a little snippet into your, your holiday Insane. traditions. Absolutely. And I just think like, yeah, it's so cool. And I also love hearing other people's holiday traditions and I hear them either in person, I have a holiday cookie party, which is like my favorite day of the year and everyone comes with their own cookie. It's homemade, you can't bring store-bought. And what's great is everyone goes around my dining table and you write your name and what you made. So you'll be like, oh my God, Aaron, you made the haystack. And then you'll be like, yeah, it was my mom's recipe. And then you suddenly you're like yeah, sharing yeah, family yeah, recipes. I love and that. it's like the entire vibe of the party. It's so great. <laughs> so now we get to throw these in the oven, Yay. 350. Typically I'll just like put them in, set the timer for 15 minutes and then check it if they need to go a little longer. 
Also, you can kind of go as light or dark as you want on these. Um, they just get more toasty and rich the darker they get. Well, so. and that's something that I feel like people have strong opinions about, right? Absolutely. Like, is it more, if they're lighter, they're a little bit chewier? Yep. And then if they're darker, they're a little bit crispier? Yes, I'm on the chewy side of things. I right. feel you. I, I definitely yeah. am on the chewy side, in fact, when we do our episode of Bake It Up a Notch Ooh, together. What's that? Uh, very soon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come, we're already available. <laughs> exactly. Either one, what yeah. <laughs> Buy one, get one free, honestly. But okay. I am using a lot of chewy cookies in that right. one because I just love a chewy cookie. I do too. I don't want to cut my lip. <laughs> <laughs> Who would? Not me. Certainly not at the holidays. <laughs> no, no bloodshed. Okay, <laughs> let's go to the oven. Merry Christmas, Dan! <laughs> I can't get down there because I'm going to fall over, but I get what you're doing. <laughs> okay. The cookies okay. are fresh out of the oven. They're stunning. They're beautiful, Dan! <laughs> All right, this is when I have to quit. Um, so I'm going to transfer them. They're nice and golden brown around the edges. Oh, you can tell how chewy they are by yeah. the way. They're sort of like yep. folding a tiny a bit as bit. you're transferring yep. them. Which one's next? That's always the hardest part. <laughs> is it? For me, I'm always like, I don't want any of the cookies to feel bad that I didn't choose them. Do you know what I mean? Um, I hear you. But you don't know I what I mean. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> but I respect you. Fine. And your process. There's all different kinds of people in the world That's and we true. embrace diversity on The Secret Sauce. <laughs> These are stunning. They're beautiful. I love how they're lightly golden brown around the outside and then right? some of the pine nuts have gotten just like perfectly toasted. The reason why they're so good, it's because of you, your hair. I did all the rolling in the pine nuts. Yeah, and also just your energy <laughs> and you talk to them. Well, yes. And, and you, you told them all that you love them. I do, except you. No, <laughs> just kidding. Okay. I'll pay for your there. <laughs> all right, look at these girlies. They're so beautiful. Mm, we love you. Now I'm talking to them, it's all because of you. <laughs> yes, I've rubbed off on you. <laughs> You only need to spend a few minutes with me before you start talking to buttery <laughs> baked it. So there's no butter. There's in no these. butter, yeah. and there's no gluten. So those are for you, gluten-free girls. It's it's honestly amazing though because they just look and smell yeah. so good. Is it time? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, look! It's so like it's still pliable. <sighs> look at that. Oh my gosh! Look at the inside. <gasps> Can you handle it? Yes. It's look like at this. sparkly. It really okay, is. Okay, let's go in. Hmm. Mmm. Mmm. They're warm. <laughs> oh my God, that part doesn't even bother yeah. me. I literally have put things in my mouth that is physically steaming still. I'm like, so, nom, 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 nom. so easy, but a big flavor payoff. Sometimes mm -hmm. cookies with more flavor, it's like about chopping up chocolate mm -hmm. and, and you know, there's like a lot of other steps, yeah. but this is really like a dump it all in and the flavor payoff for the amount of effort is yeah. huge. And I just want to say, I know it's holidays right now, but in the summer, two of these with some ice cream in the middle. Oh. Goodbye. My God, I love goodbye. that idea. Goodbye. Do you want to become an ice cream sandwich? <laughs> it mm -hmm. could be nice in the winter too. So if you've enjoyed this episode of The Secret Sauce with Grossi Pelosi and Aaron McDowell, you can like and subscribe <laughs> and comment on this episode. Please. Tell us what you think. And if you're looking for the recipe, it's right below this video linked for you. Go bake it. We can't wait to hear what you think. Now. Mm, let's save these though, because I want to do a cookie exchange. Okay. On Bake It Up a Notch. Oh yeah. So I save would... these for me. Okay. And I'll see you there. I can't wait. But I'm going to take the rest of this one with me. Yes. Bye. I'll see you soon on Bake It Up a Notch. Yay.